The design of this model is by a well-known Meccano uh, uh, model maker, uh, the late Eric Taylor, and it pretty much copies his, uh, his design. The model follows the prototype of uh, a Caterpillar, I think it's called a Caterpillar D7, and it uh, follows it pretty well. First off, at the moment the, uh, the engine's on tick over and as you can tell it's pretty silent in its operation. There's a representative diesel engine inside there. Right, now turning the revs up by increasing the voltage. We'll lift the scraper up, which is done by the use of this lever here. And that's uh, driven by a winch at the back. Looking at the controls, we have a H-pattern gearbox, clutch, stick steering, and reverse and forward on all of the gears. So if we go into first gear, that's reverse. Being a model, it's possible actually, although there is a working clutch on it, it is possible to actually go into gear without pushing the clutch. So here we go into first gear, it's in reverse, neutral, forward. Second gear. Third gear. So the H-pattern gearbox here, that's neutral in the centre, first gear, and that's reverse on all the gears, as I've mentioned before, that is the clutch. So a little bit of detail about the model. Okay, this is the clutch mechanism, and when I push the clutch lever, you will see that the clutch plates just slightly move away. Now I'll show you that with the, uh, with the engine running. The, the engine is still turning over, but the mechanism is stopped. When I release the clutch, these Two levers here will move back and put force onto a rubber tyre which is sandwiched between the clutch plates there. Slightly closer close up view of the gearbox. And so there's an H pattern gearbox here with four speeds. It's in the uh, final drive is in neutral at the moment, so first gear, second gear. Third gear and fourth gear, which is straight through drive. Third gear, second gear, first gear. And underneath that gear, you'll see the lay shaft underneath. This drives through a differential. This drives through a differential at the back. And there are two rubber tyres, one each side, with brake bands which are operated by stick steering here, which will hold one track while the other turns.
There's further reduction gear in uh, inside the hubs, which actually makes it a very uh, powerful model. The packs themselves are spring-loaded inside that cylinder to keep tension, and there is a compensating beam across the, the model for rough territory. I don't know if you can see that beam just uh, just in there. And that goes right across the model to the other side to provide compensation. Okay, so first gear, forward drive, forward drive. second gear. 